Hello everyone! I'm actually kind of excited to share this because it arrived a lot quicker than mail has been arriving. Disclaimer, um, just because I've had people messaging, emailing, commenting, all that. Postage times all over the world are, are just disrupted because of everything. Um, there was a major delay, for, especially for Canadian orders, but I think they finally worked through it. I'm not gonna say everything's like right back to normal, but this July kit showed up a lot sooner than I was expecting it to, so I'm kind of excited. So we'll just see what happens, but this showed up. I'm excited, wanted to film an unboxing video of it. Okay, so this is the July 2020 card kit from Simon's The Stamp. So this is the Home Sweet Home kit. Oh man! <laughs> okay, this is funny. Okay, first off, like before we actually get to kit, <laughs> because I've seen the images of the kit obviously online, and I was positive you were gonna get a mini ink, and you guys will. All the customers, the subscribers, etc., will be getting the new. This is the new distress ink color, the speckled egg, which is gorgeous. But I was ex I was excited to get this because they send these to me early and the other designers early. We got the full size one I was looking for. It's so, this is like first world problems. I was really excited because that's the only, you literally can't get this in a mini yet. Um, another disclaimer, uh, for those that might not be aware, like this is a new color. They, Tim Holtz and Ranger announced what was this, a month ago, whenever it was, um, a new color came out, so there was this one, and he made it official and said there will be 12, yeah, 12 new colors altogether being released over the next, like, year and a half or so. So I'm kind of assuming, again, this is me assuming, it'll be every two months they'll release another color, and they'll do it with, like, all, the, the whole line of products. The only thing is, with the minis, when it comes to Ranger doing Distress Ink Minis, um, the way they do their manufacturing production is they do them in sets of four, like four colors. So there won't be minis available for this until like four colors been released. And then they release a pack with those four colors in minis. That's how they did it the last time. They released new colors like five years ago. Can't believe it's been five years. So that's all well and good. So when the minis become available, I'm just gonna order them because I like having the minis as well. It's just a convenience thing. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, other than if you get this kit, you will get a mini Distress Ink. So, yeah, and normally I wouldn't overly care, but I actually already have. I haven't even shown it in a video yet, but I have the full size. So I'm just gonna probably save this. I'll probably save it for a future giveaway. And I already got ink on me. But yeah, it's a gorgeous color. So, yeah, I just wanted to make a note of that though. Customers will get the mini Distress Ink. So I'm a little bit jealous of you guys. <laughs> but yeah, that is part of the kit. So exciting. That color is gorgeous. And then let's just kind of dive right into the actual kit here. So there is a Home Sweet Home. This is a six by eight stamp set. I, of course, immediately was like, this is perfect for a slimline card because this stamp alone is like nearly eight inches long so perfect for a slimline hey i'm just yeah plus i love i just think it's adorable i love this little town it makes me think of animal crossing i haven't like said anything i'm obsessed with that game i'm not even a gamer or anything like that but i have picked it up in the last month and i'm obsessed i play with my older kids and we oh, it's just it's the funnest thing ever anyway i i get i get, I get so many side rounds Love it. That's what this made me think of. <laughs> you got scenery building. I love it. There's this little airplane and, you, and then you can have the banner sending hugs thinking of you. This set is adorable. This set is adorable. I love the sentiments. And again, it's like, it's like this set was made for me. It's so perfect for, yeah, Slimline, but obviously you can make it for regular size cards. You can do just like thinking, you know, home, home is where the Wi-Fi automatically connects. Love it. Though we are far apart, we can make a wish on the same stars. See, again, Animal Crossing, man. Anyway, this set, love it. It is adorable. So there's the stamp set. There is this really cute 
um, wafer die set. This is the Ho Ho Postage from CZ Design, which coordinates with a set. Like, this has been released previously. I'm kind of glad they included it in this kit, though, because it just works so well with these little images, and I'll get into the pattern paper in a second. But it works really well with these two, because you could use I'll show you the wafer dies just like this. So, of course, you'll snip them apart. But, like, a lot of these images will fit within a dimension of these um, wafer dies. So you could make things look like little postage stamps with these images. Like, I, that's really cute. That's really cute. Really clever to think to combine all of this. So, wafer die set, stamp set, pattern paper. This is the waffle flower um, pattern paper, and this is from their special delivery pack, so everything's made to go together. And the neat thing with the waffle flower paper, I already did a video when this, like, their papers were released whenever it was, a couple months ago, something. But the cool thing with the waffle flower pattern paper is they're five and a half by eight and a half inches, because the, like, they're meant to actually be turned into A2 cards. So you can just score it in half, and then you'll have an 80 card base. Like, it's not thin. Like, it's a good weight. So you can do it for that. But then another thing is this is really nice for, like, slimline cards because it's eight and a half inches long. Love it. So you get all these little papers. And this is what I mean. So you could score it, fold it, and you've got a card front, like, right there. You know, simple, quick, easy. Or you can cut it and then just use that. So you have all these cute little papers. And they're all single-sided, because again, they're kind of meant to be like card bases and whatnot, but they're just really cute as well. So yeah, really, really cute. Little papers, the theme, this whole card kit theme is great. Special delivery, love it. So you get all those pattern papers. There's this really cool, this is Cosmic Shimmer opal blaze polish dip your finger or sponge into the polish and apply in a circular motion to highlight details or cover an entire area this might be really cute on top of like die cuts and stuff i've never like i've heard of this i've never ordered it so this is the thing i love about kits like this is because i get to try out things i would never have thought of before oh it is shimmery i'm already in love Ooh, it's like a gel consistency it's jelly I was expecting it to be a lot more solid, but it ain't. It's pretty. I like it. If it's shimmery, you guys know I'm going to love it. Yeah, it's just really pretty sparkle. So I'm going to have to play with that, but I'm just immediately thinking, I was like, ooh, you can rub that on like, yeah, die cut sentiments and <laughs> make it all shimmery. Oh, and candy, of course. I'm going to set that aside for later. So you get that. And then there is the cardstock, of course. So Simon's gorgeous cardstock that I just love. So we've got Cotton Candy, Smoke, Soft Navy. This is Nina Solar White cardstock, the 80 pound. This is what I really love for Copic coloring. I didn't realize everything went out of focus. Just a second, there we go. And you get a bunch of envelopes in this kit, which is really fun. So you get a little mini envelope, just a mini white envelope. So get that and then you get all these envelopes so we've got two metallic silver two white which are they're just a nice they're like almost almost textured two white a soft navy and a cotton candy envelope so yeah really 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 excited about this kit as always i will link to the kit i'll link to everything available individually like I already said in the beginning about this whole ink pad, this is only available like as a full size ink pad, except for in the kit, you'll get the mini. Again, I'm jealous. I'll just have to wait three more months or however long it's gonna take. Um, and yeah, I'm also gonna get creating while I'm at it and we'll just go from there. Alrighty, so as I said in the unboxing, I made a slimline card. <laughs> So to make said card, I used the Nina Classic Crest Solar White 80 pound cardstock that came in the kit. I just cut it in half, put it into my Misty stamping platform, and then lined up that little row of um, houses and whatnot stamp along that. And then because this is a brand new stamp, 
I always condition my stamps, just rubbing my hands on them. And then the best way to condition new stamps is just to use them. So inked everything up with Simon's Intense Black Ink. And I'm going to stamp this a couple of times because it is a long image. And I'd also lined up at the same time the little, those clouds and the sun are not part of that stamp. It's part of the set, but I just kind of lined everything up and then inked them up a good couple times with this Intense Black Ink to make sure I got everything stamped, crisp, etc. And then after I had everything stamped, happy with it, I am going to color it all in with Copic markers. And like I've mentioned in other videos lately, I kept the coloring really simple with these just because, just didn't feel the need. Although it looks really cute when you do the shading and all that. But for this one, I just didn't want to. So I didn't really do any shading. I pretty much did like one color um, for each area rather than doing, you know, three Copic markers, etc. And the colors I chose, I went with colors that went with those pattern papers in the kit. So I just kind of flipped through all my markers and pulled out a few colors that I thought would work and decided to kind of go a little colorful on these little like house images and all that. So went along colored, kind of mixed up how I did, you know, the, the base of each house, the, the trim, etc. And then I used a neutral gray for the bottom area, not keeping it perfect because I'm going to trim this off when I'm done. So it's even but went along and did that for the like road I guess you want to call it and then um, used a slightly lighter gray just for the house etc just to give it that little bit of a difference so just kept going along filling it in and then um, once I was kind of happy with everything I ended up pulling out a really pale blue it was BG 11 and I, I didn't fully color in the windows with that because I used some yellow too to kind of make it look like, you know, there's light on in the windows. But then I went over all of that with the BG11 just kind of adding dabs of it. Because when you have images as small as this or like parts of images, like the little tiny windows, you don't need to go all out with everything. So added all of that. Once I was happy with it, I trimmed it down with my paper trimmer, like I said. So just kind of lined everything up eyeballing it as always and like I've been mentioning in more recent videos my eyeballing skills aren't as good as they used to be so nice thing with a paper trimmer like this is you can just continue to trim off little tiny bits so trim it off and then the little areas left over I just quickly colored them in there on the bottom with that neutral gray marker and then I had to try out this cosmic shimmer I was curious to see if I could just use it with my little water brush which I could so fun so that's what I did I just kind of picked up the opal shimmer with my little water brush and then I would kind of swirl it on my craft mat just so I didn't have like a big blob of it and then I just painted it on this image I will show at the very end of the video I'll turn the flashlight on on my phone so you guys can see the shimmer but it's very similar to other shimmer products I've used in the past just a really nice pretty sparkle very subtle. It's another one of those ones where when the light's not shining on it, you don't really notice it. But then when you tilt the card back and forth in the light, you see all that little sparkle and shimmer and I love it. So I painted all the windows and the water and the clouds and the sun and pretty much everything <laughs> with that shimmer. Let it dry, which didn't take very long. Um, off camera, I ended up stamping the little airplane. I wasn't going to use this originally, but I couldn't resist because it's so cute. So I'd stamped the airplane on another piece of that Nina cardstock, colored it with the same markers. And then for the little banner, there's, you know, a couple little banner images in the set. I stamped the banner onto some of the smoke gray cardstock with the intense black ink. And then I'm going to use that same N3, I think that's what I use. Yeah, N3 Copic marker. Just add that little bit of shading to it. Just, just a little bit. And then after I did that, I just quickly fussy cut this one out with scissors. I fussy cut out the airplane and I fussy cut out the banner. That's another thing I'm not a big fan of. Again, as I get older, it's just not fun to fussy cut. It hurts my hands, but image like an image like this and a little airplane that took no time at all. So I just quickly fussy cut those out. So like I'm going to adhere them, you know, above the images once I actually get the, the card finished. So for my card base, I used the rest of that smoke cardstock and I had already trimmed it down to seven inches by eight and a half. And then I'm scoring it at three and a half inches. So this will be a three and a half inch by eight and a half inch slimline card. And then I trimmed down um, one of the pattern papers that came in the kit as well. And I'll get to that when I assemble a card front. 
But after I scored my card base with my Teflon bone folder, I put the card base back into that Misty and I'm going to line up the same little row of houses stamp again on the inside of the card. And I'm going to stamp that with that smoke, like coordinating smoke gray ink. So ink up the row of houses with that. And I have to stamp it a couple times. Just this is a big stamp. And as always, I'm just not paying enough attention sometimes when I'm inking up my stamps. But that's why the Misty is so great. Because <laughs> you can just re-stamp things and it all looks perfect in the end. So I stamped the row of houses with gray ink. I used a sentiment from the set and I inked that up with the intense black ink and then stamped that onto the inside of the card as well. So now the inside's finished. And then on the outside, I'm going to adhere the pattern paper I chose, which I decided to go with the pink floral pattern paper that comes in the kit. So I adhered that. And then for the main image that I had done, I cut down some of the soft navy cardstock that came in the kit to frame it. So I adhered those together, adhered all of that to the card base with the craft tacky glue. And then for this little airplane and the banner, I just pulled out some of my little thin 3D foam squares. So they give it that little bit of dimension, but they're not, um, the thin ones are not as thick as regular dimensional. So it just gives it that little extra, but not too bulky. So pop those into place with those thin 3D foam squares. As always, could leave the card here, but I couldn't, I had to add some form of embellishment besides just the opal, like the cosmic shimmer. So I pulled out some of my Nouveau drops and I ended up using double denim, dandelion yellow and gloss white, just tying all those colors kind of in together. So applied what, what was going to be, you know, like three <laughs> turned into six, turned into, I don't even know how many I added. <laughs> so added a bunch of little Nouveau drops to this just to kind of finish it all off. Um, it's always hard to show when I'm filming straight down, but I hold the bottles basically straight up and down. You can kind of see how I do like almost like a little swirl that helps remove any little tails when making these. And then my last step after I've applied all of my Nouveau drops is I like tap my card base on my work surface or on an ink pad, just something, just something to tap it. And it helps kind of smooth everything out and round them out a little bit. So then I need to just set that aside to dry. So while that was drying, I decided to stamp a coordinating envelope. This is one of Simon's number 10 business envelopes. They sell them in a pack and I just got these in a recent order. So I pulled one of those out, stuck it in my Misty. You can see it's a fair bit longer than my like standard sized Misty, but that's fine. The each side kind of hangs out, but it's going to be fine. So I lined up the row of houses along the bottom of this envelope. And I did not clean off this stamp very well. And of course didn't realize till I stamped the actual image, but I inked up the image with cotton candy ink and it picked up some of the gray ink from that I didn't clean off properly, but I'm, I was okay with it. One, wasn't going to waste the envelope and two, it just kind of worked. So I stamped the row of hoses with that ink and then I stamped the little airplane and then I have the banner again, this little sending hugs banner. You could leave it with just the sending hugs, but I didn't want to have that sentiment on there. So I got a little creative and used just my purple tape and I'm going to trim down just a narrow little strip of this and I'm going to mask off just the words so that I still have the outline of the banner. So I haven't done masking like this in a long time. We used to do this all, all the time back in the day, but now I just rarely ever do it. But anyway, masked off just the words so that I have just the outline of the banner so I can ink up the stamp with that same um, smoke ink. And then I'm going to remove the tape using my tweezers so that I don't smear what I've inked up on the edges of that banner. And then I can stamp that. So I have just the blank banner now. And then I, the reason why I'd masked it off is there was a, there's a little stamp in the set that says, please deliver to, which I thought would be perfect for the envelope. So I'm going to use, I just use Simon's, one of their clear grid transparencies and use that to kind of help me line up that sentiment. And I'm going to curve that sentiment a bit. So I made sure to curve it so it fit along the banner, which is easy to do with clear stamps. And then I can ink this up a couple times with that smoke ink. And now the little banner says, please deliver to you. Cause then I'll write the recipient's address like directly below that. So I also stamped another sentiment on the flap of the envelope that says love and hugs enclosed. And then as a final little bit, I couldn't resist stamping. I ended up stamping the sun with some lemon chiffon ink and then the clouds with the cloudy skies ink. So stamped all of those just to create kind of a little scene on my envelope because it was too cute not to. 
So once everything was stamped, the envelope is done, the card is dry, everything's good to go. I can turn the flashlight on my phone here so you guys can get an idea of all that shimmer that I added to like the windows and the trees and the sun and the airplane and everything. <laughs> And like I mentioned earlier in the video, I will have links to everything in the description box below the video. I will link to my blog post. I'll have picture links in my blog post with my supply list. So you can check that all out below if you are interested. Thank you all so much for watching, subscribing, thumbs upping, commenting, sharing, all of it. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.